Hey guys, Cabbage Cole here today. So uh, we're back here at the island for our annual family vacation. And uh, like last time, we did a little limb mining. So last night, we caught some bluegill and uh, shell crackers. So we put them out on some lines. This morning, we're going to go out there and get them. See you then. Okay, so now we're out here on the lake. And we're out in the spot where we hung a ton of the uh, lines. And we're going to go check them real quick. See you then. Cole, you I'll need him for right. holding. That's a nice one. There you go, catfish Cole. That's probably the one that ate those uh right one of those shell crackers we caught. Hey guys, we've just finished up fishing here at our camping spot, North Lake, and uh, here's one of the bigger catfish we caught. We caught a 48, or no, 47 and a 46, and a couple smaller ones. But uh, this is just one of the big ones. I thought I wanted to show you it. It's pretty cool looking. It's a flathead. And we're gonna get skinned. We're gonna skin him now. So we'll see you then. Okay, guys. So we just cut off the tail of the catfish. We just use a serrated blade like this. <laughs> okay, guys, so we just cut off the tail of the catfish right here, as you can see. We use these skin pliers to hold it in place and this serrated blade to get it off there. We just had to let it bleed out so that all the meat now ain't bloody and stuff, and uh, we can start skinning it now. Okay, guys, so we got our catfish here on our little uh, skinning board, so we're gonna get all the meat off it like we. We've done a video like this in the past. It wasn't this big though, so we're gonna do it again to show you how to get a little bigger one done. Like last time, we're gonna get the side meat and the belly meat and all that, and uh, see you then. Okay guys, we're here, we're gonna flay this 47 pound catfish, flathead, that Cole caught in Lake here on the limb line. Uh, 
he caught a couple this size, but this is the first one we're going with against some smaller ones already. We're going to start out, we're going to fillet it. We're going to take the cut right down this side of the backbone, all the way down through the tail. We're going to come up here to the gill plate, head. We're going to cut right around through there and go down this rib line, all the way down through here, then fillet it right on off. We'll do both sides that way, then we'll flop it over and get this belly meat right here. It's got a lot of belly meat on it that's really good eating. But we're gonna jerk this side off, then we'll flay the skin off of it. Go around that fin right there just a little. Let's go down to hit the backbone. It's a long way down there on this fish. Move your hand, Cole. Okay, then you can hold the meat back. Pull it off the backbone, cut right against the backbone. Of course, them vertebrae stick out right in the middle. Just kind of go out around them and go back in below them so you don't leave that meat below them. You can see that's the vertebrae starting back through there. Go around them and you go back in to get that meat below them. Get up here to the rib cage, just pull back, let that meat roll right off the rib cage as it comes off. Just work your ribs back. Ribs stick way out there. pull on it and it'll just about pull loose. Now that's one play off one side. We're gonna do the other side just like this. Then we'll get the cheek meat off of him and turn him over and get the belly meat off of him. We'll show you that when we do that. Okay, so we've got this fillet right here. We're about to take off the skin and the membrane and the bloodline, which is this right here, which is where the blood runs, which will get the meat all bloody and stuff if we didn't let it drip out. So uh, we're going to do that real quick. So uh, on these big flathead catfish, they got a pretty good sized amount of cheek meat right behind the eye, so we're going to remove that real quick. Meat, it's in an eye socket right back behind the eye. I feel that. Just get right over. Cut right around the edge. You see that big white piece of meat? Mm -hmm.
cut down to your hip bone right, right behind that eyeball. Never hardly come down low enough. I should have got a little more of that. I will on the other side, but that's a pretty good little piece of meat. Okay, so we've got the side meat and the cheek meat out. So now we're just gonna get some of this smelly meat out. Start in right behind this gill plate. Angle your knife in a little bit. Go right around it. Right around it. Went down the back. Back up, Cole. You don't really have to worry about the uh, guts and stuff. Go right down to where ribs bulge out. Go right across, come back up right in front of these pins back here. Don't let them fall off, Cole. All right. Go right down these ribs. You can see that's a big piece of meat on that belly. Just a second and I'll show you something. Here are the uh, egg sacs on this big female that we just cut up. There must be at least a thousand, so it makes you think how many uh, catfish make it to adulthood. So, it's cool. Okay guys, so here's all the catfish that we've caught today. And we've got them all skinned up, as you can see. And on the big ones, we've got the cheek meat out of them. And on the little ones, you know, just the sides. and. Uh, this is a total of 123 pounds of catfish right here, and uh, we'll show you how much meat we actually got from it in a second. Okay, so here's the bucket of all the meat from the four catfish. It's a total of 34 pounds, which is quite a bit, and it's actually 27% of the catfish is clean, deboned meat that you can cook right there, you know. And uh, it's, it's a lot of meat for sure, and uh, we're having a fresh fry, so uh, we'll show that too in a second. 